Given its recent mass publicity, you've probably heard of a drug called fentanyl. So why are we all talking about it? What is fentanyl? And why is it critical we all know more about it? Fentanyl is a manufactured opioid drug that's medically administered for pain management and can be ingested several ways, including through the skin. Compared to other painkillers, fentanyl is incredibly strong. It's so powerful that an amount the size of two grains of salt is enough to overdose and kill. What's more, the drug is odorless, tasteless, and colorless, making its detection very difficult. By 2017, fentanyl was detected in over 80% of opioid overdose deaths. It's finding its way into pressed pills and powders, sometimes unintentionally through cross-contamination. This has significantly increased the amount of people who are now at high risk of accidental overdose. Unless tested, which is difficult and expensive, there is no way of knowing what drugs contain fentanyl. Even if one person can use from a batch and not be harmed, it doesn't mean that another person will get the same result. Think of baking chocolate chip cookies. Do all cookies come out with the same number of chocolate chips? More likely, one cookie could have four or five chips, and another eight, and another only two. It's the same with grains of fentanyl. No two pills containing fentanyl have equal amounts. Aside from those being treated with medical fentanyl, there are three main groups who might come into contact with the drug. The first group is people who might regularly use illicit substances or opioid painkillers. By that, we might mean substances like cocaine, heroin, oxycontin, morphine, or Xanax. These people might have developed a dependence to painkillers for management of past injuries or traumas. Regular users have the most contact with fentanyl, but they might have also developed tolerances to opioids so that lower doses may have a less deadly effect. They are also more likely to be experienced in practices that could reduce the harm of a fentanyl overdose. Despite this, regular users are still at high risk of overdosing. Fentanyl is powerful. Things can go wrong quickly, even with safer practices. Our second group is people who might use pills or powders recreationally, perhaps at concerts, parties, or gatherings. While recreational users are not typically looking for fentanyl, they risk running into it while using a different contaminated drug. Finally, there are people who might be curious about trying pills or powders. This group may or may not have already used cannabis or alcohol and could find themselves in a scenario where trying a new substance is appealing. Inexperienced users are not prepared for how any one substance might react with their unique bodies, and everybody is affected by drugs differently. They also have no substance tolerance, so the drug's effects can be much stronger. A new user might accept a small dose of a drug from a trusted source and still wind up with fentanyl poisoning. There's just no way of knowing if fentanyl contamination has occurred. Trusting your source isn't enough to protect you these days. Informing our decisions regarding illicit substances, using our critical thinking skills while weighing the risks, and talking with people we trust are great places to start in keeping ourselves safe. If we were told that 80% of peanut-free granola bars had been contaminated with peanuts, what would we do as a community? How would we act to keep each other safe? And how would people with peanut allergies assess whether to try something or not? Avoiding all illicit pill and powder substance use while we continue to have a poison drug supply is the best way to keep yourself safe. However, if you or someone you know chooses to use, there are some ways to prevent an accidental overdose. Have someone else around. Use one substance at a time. Go slow. Be aware of your health and tolerance. And have someone around with a naloxone kit, a counteractive drug to fentanyl overdoses. A person might be experiencing an overdose if they cannot be woken up, they have slow or absent breathing, or they have cold skin and discolored lips and nails. If someone is experiencing these symptoms, call 911 immediately. We have a law under the Good Samaritan Act where anyone who calls 911 to help someone who has overdosed will not be charged with simple possession, and neither will the person who overdosed. Paramedics only want to help the person in need. For more information on fentanyl, its effects on the body, recognizing the signs of an overdose, and how to respond, take a look at the links in the video description.